Okay, so hopefully I was unable to get it to directly stream on um, the uh, YouTube server, but I'm going to try and do it using another uh, source. So um, let's see if that one works. Um, I'm trying to get a preview and so I could see the... Uh, if there's any interaction I can respond so let me see if it's working okay. so they want to access my microphone okay um, I'm not really sure what's going on with them but it's not seeming to work right really trying so we're just gonna go ahead and oh that's probably what I didn't do okay let's see if it works this time all right um, and I'm trying to see if it's going to work properly so I can also um, be able to um, respond to, uh, via text okay yeah it looks like there's a place for me to talk awesome okay okay so let's see if it decides to work and it's trying to connect for my preview which I don't know it says it's not receiving data from my screen. Well, I'm just going to send it through my regular channel then. Um, it is going to be on my YouTube channel, English Amlovision. It should be uh, going live there directly. So let's see if that's going to be open. Give me a second. Because I'm trying to set this up for the first time to go live. So I hope this works. Okay, let's go to another one, and here, English, my channel, and let's see if it shows that we're live. Oh, it does show that we're live. Awesome. Okay, great. Okay, so if you want to see the live show, you have to go to English. Uh, the English Amlovision channel, okay? Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and start. So this is a live uh, presentation of the, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I'm going to lower my volume for myself so it doesn't give you a nickel okay um so we're starting with the president walking in so we are like uh, we do every day at this time we're going to inform the mexican people And we're going to do it today with your questions and the responses that we are looking to give in a punctual way. So that in this way, you can clarify things and you can guarantee the right for information. so that we can have this conference and this dialogue. So the only part I'm going to see... Okay, so this is Gabriela Jimenez from uh, Sol de Mexico, and she has a question. Preguntarle, eh, primero que nada, eh, en estos días 
nosotros llevamos una nota en la que eh, se daba cuenta de que en gobiernos anteriores llegaron a pagar. So she says that um, we got some kind of a note regarding uh, previous governments that had that they uh, spent more than about six thousand million uh, dollars over ten years, and they had some contracts with qualifying companies, so they're like credit rating companies, such as Fitch and Moody's. And she's asking, do you know anything uh, regarding these contracts? And have they been uh, canceled yet? Um, or procedería hacer una investigación por parte de la función pública. Or are you going to be uh, doing some kind of a investigation using public functions? Contra quienes firmaron estos Against contratos. those who signed for those contracts. Because actually, she says, the governor of Mexico, uh, his name came out on this report, the actual governor. So, and a few of them actually have jobs uh, working for companies like BlackRock uh, in investments. And then she has a couple of more questions, uh, additionally. Just trying to type to the uh, uh, live screen. So there's some agreements that the Secretary of Hacienda has with uh, financial um, uh, governing with banks, um, financial um, companies, uh, or credit rating people, uh, and with banks. And they deal with qualifying companies or um, these uh, type of companies. that they can uh, evaluate how things are done. Economico, financiero. And uh, they, they keep track of how the money is spent, uh, economically, financially, that kind of stuff, De, el for the government. Tengo and um, I have a, uh, an understanding menos, that at the very least, we're supposed to contract at least two of these qualifiers. Se les paga por eso. And they are paid for this. Con tres. And we have contracts with three of them. O sea que lo que cuesta a un... So he says that is to say we could actually save money by getting uh, rid of one because we could save the money that it would cost to pay one of them. Pero no lo hacemos. Lo vamos a hacer. But we don't do it and we're not going to do it either. No que se piense. Because we don't want uh, them to think That we are in a uh, in a way chastising, o or taking revenge en de against qualifiers or 
um, rating companies. That would give a very bad message to the financial uh, market and uh, financiers. We may not be in agreement with what the um, rating companies say, for example, as it occurred, when they lowered the rating due to the petroleum situation, and we um, um, complained about it but very amiably, of course. We let them know that they had not behaved professionally or with professionalism because they remained quiet in the past. At the time when corruption prevailed in Pemex, and uh, petroleum production dropped, uh, not only that, but in the last year alone, it had dropped 200,000 barrels a day, the production that is. And they didn't notice, they didn't see it. But on the other hand, we that detained that fall, that drop, they lowered our uh, credit rating. But that is proper for a government that is democratic and they have attitudes that are free and not of subjecting yourself, neither on the part of the qualifying companies or qualifiers or rating companies or on the part of, of government or the subject. But other governments remained quiet and they didn't say or anything about um, what was happening. But we maintain that agreement with the qualifier or qualifying or rating companies over what they cost. I have the data, but but I don't recall the number exactly right now. How much it is. Well, it's not a lot, but I guess it depends uh, how it appears, or it, or how it looks. But today, we will inform. We'll let you know. What should be made very clear that we respect all the, 
all the recommendations and criteria. Qualifiers. Decisions that are taken by, by the financial companies themselves. And above all, the decisions that uh, the Bank of Mexico takes. That has autonomy and we respect that. We respect that autonomy and that independence. That's when I can comment uh, to you today. And today we will let you know how much the service of the qualifiers are actually costing. What they do. And why they should be contracted. All these things that in general are not known. Which is important. That it be transparent. And so that it uh, be known. Because that's what a qualifier or rating company is. Where, where are they from? Or who do they belong to? And why should governments have this? Or these services? How much does that service cost? What is it that they recommend? What is it that they qualify? So yesterday there came out something that was related to the World Bank. Uh, related to uh, something in Mexico. And imagine this. Supposedly Mexico in this measure well, oh, okay, so there was a, like a credit rating and Mexico had the number one spot in the uh, most uh, confidence uh, uh, in the, you know, to, to make investments into for foreign investments. And now it fell into second place. And who do you think came and took first place? And he chuckles. Chile. Chile. Oh, and Chile has got big problems right now. Um, big uproar. The people are um, rioting because the government uh, increased the, the rates of their transportation and they, uh, um, then they, you know, the buses and the trains or whatever, and then they, um, they, the people couldn't afford it, so they said, well, then travel off-peak hours. So that would mean that the people would have to get up extra early and wait uh, and get to their jobs early and then have to leave later. So the people are very upset, and so they're rioting. 
So uh, Mexico, I'm sorry, uh, Chile is uh, having a lot of problems right now in their economy. So uh, this was obviously a mistake on their part. Or they're trying to help uh, people who have made investments there not to lose all their money. That um, maybe someone they're defending. So therefore, they're not infallible. But then, of course, we are all free. And everyone has their own mission, their own point of view. And we need to respect. And so the second part now. Yesterday, the secretary adjunct to the state regarding uh, international uh, matters. Uh, and it had to do something with narc uh, narcotics trafficking. And they said they were worried regarding the strategy that Mexico had to combat uh, narcotic trafficking. And especially related to the uh, things that have occurred recently in uh, Culiacán. And they wanted, and that they thought that we should work together uh, with some kind of adjunct uh, strategy. Uh, and so she's asking, what is your opinion regarding this? And what would you, your response be to this, uh, these critics? And these, we know, are coming from the uh, U.S. government. And also, uh, the last part she has to ask, So to, today we published a note where it is registered and something about the industry has uh, dropped 10% uh, since the month of August. So do you already have the uh, National Plan for Infrastructure? And with this, would it raise these indexes that registered this fall since the month of August? OK, so now the president is going to answer this. Um, but I want to let you know, after this question is answered, um, I am going to stop this cha um, this uh, stream, and I'm going to uh, let people know that I'm going to be doing live streams using my YouTube channel, uh, uh, the English Amlo Vision channel, uh, because that way, if they want to um, uh, see the uh, live uh, uh, um, program uh, with translations and questions um, so that I can answer them. Um, that I'm, I'm hoping to do that next. So just so you know, I'm going to put this um, short uh, video out uh, just dealing with this part and then I'm going to put it out so that people that want to see the rest of it uh, will be able to tune in live to the AMLO English, AMLO Vision. Because the thing is, I have to switch over to English on that channel because there's a lot of Spanish speak uh, speakers that uh, want to see some of my other videos. Um, and I want to use AMLO Vision without the English on it. 
uh, in order to do my Spanish videos uh, for the Spanish uh, people or the Spanish speaking people. Uh, and so the uh, this uh, English uh, channel is going to be used uh, for the translation of any anything having to do with AMLO. OK, so I needed to make that distinction. And so I'm sorry if this is an inconvenience, but if you're already subscribed to my channel, uh, that's AMLO Vision or Mara Carranza, I need you to subscribe to my channel English AMLO Vision if you want to see your um, data in uh, English, okay? So just so you know, I'm, I need to put that out there now because I'm gonna be stopping after they answer this question, which was actually very interesting. So here it goes. So she says, thank you. Now he's about to answer. So he says, regarding the first part, I do believe that there is a need for cooperation. However, with a respect to the sovereignty of every country, Functionaries of other countries should not give their opinion regarding internal matters that only correspond to our own government. It is even in bad taste to do this. Imagine if I were to declare that the strategy that the U.S. is using is bad because they permit without control the sale of arms. that are introduced into Mexico to cause the death of civilians. Mm. No, it's not that. Every country has its own independence. But, but what is important, especially when you're talking about neighbor countries, is to look for cooperation. But to not to place yourself like judges or to judge that of course would uh, seem very good to to the conservatives our adversaries But fortunately for us, we have very good relations with the government of the United States. And so he says, one golondrina. Now, I'm not really sure what a golondrina is. So I'm going to look that up real quick. Because I hate it when, uh, when I translate and then later I find out that I used the wrong word to translate. And I'm sure you must hate it too, because I've gotten a few ugly notes from people that said, uh-uh, that was wrong. So golondrina, I know it's some kind of a bird, but I don't know what kind. 
golondrina. Uh, English. Oh, I got the wrong place. This should be uh, Spanish on this side. Okay. Spanish. Okay. Swallow. Okay. So what he said was just because there's a swallow doesn't mean, or you see a swallow, that doesn't mean that there is a, oh, and that's a very good word for me to write. In fact, I'm going to put it on my notes because I really like that word swallow. There's a swallow. Copy. And I'm going to put it on my other document. So give me a moment. Okay. Alrighty. Sorry, I got to open it. Okay, this one here. All right. Because I'm trying to keep notes on uh, these matters because eventually I think I'm going to write a book about all this mess. Okay. Uh, so, Golondrina. Okay, so Golondrina is a swallow. So I guess um, that is kind of like a, um, something that is said uh, whenever the new season comes in, okay? Uh, and, and I think he said verano, which is actually winter. I'm sorry, verano. No, I think that's the summer. <laughs> Invierno is winter. I get those confused sometimes. Okay. But anyway, so he says that that just because you see something, it doesn't mean something else, basically. 